few years ago at the airport in Germany. I was, I was the guy that got really big. I had a mask on. You wouldn't recognize me. Is this an old me. message? Ant-Man. Ant-Man. I know you know. I know you know that. It's the Frankie. We need to talk to you guys. Scott. Are you okay? Yeah. Have either of you guys ever studied quantum physics? Only to make conversation. All right, so, five years ago, right, right before Thanos, I was in a place called the quantum realm. And the quantum realm is like its own microscopic universe. To get in there, you have to be incredibly small. Hope, she's my, uh, she, wa she was my, she was, she was supposed to pull me out. And then Thanos happened and I got stuck in there. I'm sorry, that must have been a very long five years. Yeah, but that's just it. It wasn't. For me, it was five hours. See, the rules of the quantum realm aren't like they are up here. Everything is unpredictable. Is that anybody's sandwich? I'm starving. Scott, what are you talking about? So, what I'm saying is, time works differently in the quantum realm. The only problem is right now, we don't have a way to navigate it. But what if we did? I can't stop thinking about it. What if we could somehow control the chaos and we could navigate it? What if there was a, a way that we could enter the quantum realm at a certain point in time, but then exit the quantum realm at another point in time? Like, like before Thanos. Wait, are you talking about a time machine? No, no, of course not. No, not a time machine. This is more like, um, yeah, like a time machine. I know, it's crazy, it's crazy. I, 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 but I can't stop thinking about it. There's gotta be, some it's crazy. Scott, I get emails from a raccoon, so nothing sounds crazy anymore. So who do we talk to about this? <laughs>